Hallelujah. This is the wonderful day, the beautiful day, the awesome day the Lord has made. His blessings have been released upon us in the comfort of our homes, your place of work, business, wherever you find yourself, traveling from one point to the other. I pray the blessing of God upon your life today. Indeed, I speak blessing. Yes, I decree blessing. You're going to, somebody, you, you're going to feel an unusual presence on you just as I pray that. I pray blessing, the glory of God, the tangible anointing of God is all over this space right now. And I sense it's, it's being released on air through the device you're watching. I pray blessing. Somebody, you're feeling an unusual presence on your head. That's the hand of the Lord upon you. I pray blessing that dispels darkness, that destroy curses. I pray the oil of God upon you, poured upon you right now. As you watch this broadcast, I pray God's blessings released on you. The blessing that empowers you to become, to live the life that will cause you to triumph over every opposition. I pray blessing upon you. Be blessed in your mind, be blessed in your body, be blessed in your soul, in your spirit, in the name of Jesus. I decree once more, this is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. There's somebody you, you feel so disappointed, like not much you expected to happen has happened. A glorious surprise is coming for that person today. I speak it for, I call it for. God is going to do something that will be a strong compensation for what you think you've missed and the miracle that will make the difference for you is released now and it will happen before this day is over in Jesus name hallelujah this is the day the Lord has made I will not stop saying that this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it because he's the one that made it is going to be in our favor the devil didn't make any so he has no 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 final say over this day God will glorify his name in mighty ways today. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. In looking at the words of Jesus, continuing from where we stopped yesterday, Matthew chapter number 7. And now we are reading from verse number 24. And Jesus says, this is what he said in his word, So everyone who hears these words of mine and acts upon them, obeying them, will be like a he will be like a sensible, prudent, practical, wise man who built his house upon the rock. Hmm. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a stupid foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain fell and the flood came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great and complete was the fall of it when Jesus had finished this saying the sermon on the mount the crowd were astonished and overwhelmed with bewildered wonder at his teaching, for he was teaching as one who had and was authority and not as did the scribes. Something mighty, something obvious. 
that is completely different from what we seem to even see in our day and in our time. And Jesus said something amazing from verse number 24. He said, the person who hears the saying of his and decides to do them, acts upon them hmm, by obeying them. He says, he will liken this person as a sensible, prudent, and practical, and wise man who built his house upon the rock. Now, what did Jesus say? The way to have a solid, glorious life is to live your life according to the words of the Lord Jesus, not the opinion of your pastor. No, whatever a pastor preaches that is not according to the words of Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about, you know, some theological, um, uh, you know, opinions by some persons who never knew the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking about what he said, exactly what he said and what he meant. Now, he said, whoever lives his or her life according to the words he has spoken, he said, this man will be likened to a wise and prudent man. All right? He said, this person is like likened unto one who built his house on the rock. When a house is built on the rock, the wave of the sea has nothing to do with that house. It's on the rock. All right? And then, he said, the winds will come. The rain will beat against this house, but it will stand. In other words, adversity of life cannot shake or tear down this house. In similar way, if your life is built on the word of Jesus Christ, the words of God, no circumstance and situation of life, no challenge will be able to tear you apart. You will be standing. You will still be standing. You see, the difficulty of life has made a lot of people lose their mind. I mean, in the real sense of being mentally sick. It's simply because their trust was in something else other than the word of God. Those who put their trust in the Lord, the Bible says, shall not be confounded. They shall not be put to shame. Why? Because the word of God is more reliable than anything. If you put your faith on the Lord, you're going to stand. He's going to see you through. You know why? He said, so shall my word be that word for out of my mouth. Why did he say so shall? He said, as the rain falls from heavens to the earth and does not return. He said, so shall my word be that word for out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. It will accomplish the purpose for which it is sent and it will prosper therein. And so if you want to see your life become a victorious life, you have to hand it over to Jesus. Jesus is the only one who will say something and he meant what he says and what he has said will certainly come to pass. Numbers 23 verse 19 says, God is not man for him to lie, neither is he the son of man for him to repent. He said, has he said it and shall he not do it? Has he spoken it and shall he not bring it to pass? What is it that you will be living God for? Now ask yourself the next question, have you been living your life according to the word of God? If it has not come to pass and you're living your life according to the word of God, just wait a little bit because it will certainly come to pass. I feel the leading to speak to somebody right now. That which you've been waiting God for is coming. It shall not delay any further. By the authority in the name of Jesus, it is released. Every hindrance to it, they are taken out of the way. And good and glorious news will be your portion very soon in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree it is well with you. You are blessed this day. The blessings of God that make it rich and adds no sorrow to it is your portion. We rebuke the hands of the divorce from your life and decree the life that you now live is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. It is well with your body, soul, and spirit till I come your way tomorrow to round up the teaching on Matthew chapter number 7. This is Igor Louis Yegbibu. God bless you. Talking